So how can we change this? The coaching model is all about success. Change the challenging symptoms and strengthen the exceptional skills and then see what happens. So the coaching paradigm is an upward spiral, goes in the opposite direction. You take those, these are exceptional people, get them to realise they are exceptional people because they've forgotten that. They're feeling really bad about themselves. Get them to value what they're really good at. Get them to capture those exceptional talents. Realise that other people haven't got those exceptional talents. The lad who can see a two-dimensional ordnance survey map in three dimensions said to me, the first one I met said, everybody can do that. And I went, no, everybody can't do that. I have since told that story many times and I've now found two people on the planet who can do that. It is an exceptional skill. He's training to be a mountain guide. I'd love him to be my mountain guide because he never gets lost. Um, you take it as a person-centred uh, philosophy. So you're looking at what the person is struggling with and what you can do to help that. You discover how good people who are good at anything succeed. You learn to maximise the, the use of their visual memory and everybody can do it if they know how to do it. You help them release stress, learn how to get relaxed and focused in a learning state in seconds. Because things are going to happen at school or in their life where they suddenly get really stressed about something they've got to read and what they've got to do is in a trice they've got to be able to get relaxed so that they don't start stumbling over their words and so they can read properly. You get families engaged because if they all change together it's much more productive. And you take a view that anything is possible. It's just a question of learning how to do something. It's not a question that they can't do it. They just don't know how to do it. So that takes us into an upward spiral and of course their self-esteem comes up. 